right, let's get going with that warm up. Happy, um, happy Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday, like an hour. The days are still all jumbled up, but anyways, I got my day right finally. So there's that. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe inside. All right, let's go air squats now. Just warm that body up a little bit. Um, today's workout's gonna be really good. Um, it is, uh, it's basically, I don't know if any of you guys actually came back into Mobius, but it's the, it's the burnout format. So um, I don't know if Angie came up with it, someone did, but um, let's go lunge for the overhead reach. Anyways, um, it's basically three uh, pods or circuits, um, each with three exercises. And then you go through it three times through and then um, you end on a Tabata. So that's kind of where the, uh, where the burnout name comes from is the, it's the Tabata at the end. So we'll see how it goes. I actually just came up with it about half an hour ago. So we'll see how, <laughs> see how it flows. All right, we'll go knee hugs, bring that knee all the way into your chest. It's like cold, so this is uh, the garage, clearly, but it's always cold at first, but then it warms up within like five minutes, I'd say. I used to wear a sweatshirt. Now I just go. Go with that t-shirt. All right, quad stretch for the calf raise. We'll just alternate sides. I wore my fuzzy socks today. <laughs> They're super comfy, extremely comfy. So one nice thing about the virtual is you can basically like roll out of bed, put some yoga pants on and then get going, which is kind of nice. All right, let's go eyes wise T's. Open up those shoulders. Oh, mine are stiff. So to, I'm not even lying, it took me like 25 minutes to uh, put in the seconds pro timer on my phone for this burnout workout, just doing all the different intervals. So we'll see, we'll see how it works, but hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be a little bit smoother. All right, let's go interim to push up. So you'll just hinge at the hips, walk yourself down, push up, walk yourself back up. Got a yoga mat finally at Costco. Really nice, actually. Um, they were selling, whoops, they were selling like hotcakes. Just probably everyone working out at home. All right, hinge at the hips. And then push up. And then walk yourself all the way back up. Just want to make sure one of our members had trouble getting the email. I just want to see if they're in there. Oh, okay, Carolyn's there. Good. Awesome. Just so you guys know, I usually send out the email um, about like half an hour before class. So um, if you panic, just Usually I'll send it out around five just because some people will add last minute. And so I just kind of, uh, I've just been doing it that way. All right, finish that last one off and then we're gonna go on our backs, hip crossovers, get that nice, Kind of opening in their spine. Oh, yeah. I actually find it's a little bit nicer to go feet off the ground and then just go from side to side. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 
Okay. All right, let's go on child's pose to cobra real quick. So just sit back in those heels. Get a nice stretch in your back. And then all the way up into that cobra. Nice stretch in your stomach. And then back to that child's pose. And then into that cobra. So today, um, you're only going to really need two things. Um, dumbbells and like a chair. Basically like a step up kind of type stool thing. Um, that's all you should need. Um, let's do jumping jacks real quick to get that heart rate up. You know, print it out the workout. So jumping jacks. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. I think all you need are dumbbells and a, a step up stool um, or a chair or whatever. I'm gonna use a bench. So um, I'm just gonna go over the first pod real quick. They're each 45 seconds. They're each 45 seconds and we'll go through them three times. So the first pod is actually gonna be a lower body pod. So three exercises three times through, the first of which will be step-ups. Um, step-ups can be done with or without weights. If you want to make a little more strength, yeah, I would definitely recommend some dumbbells. Um, so, so we got... All right, so we got step-ups, first 30, or actually the 45 second interval. So the first 22 seconds, you'll do one leg. And then the second, um, the second, 22 seconds, you'll do the other leg. Um, that's the first exercise. The second exercise is going to be hurdle run over. So you're just going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Get the gist of it. Get your heart rate up. And then the third exercise is going to be shoulder taps. The first 22 seconds. The second 22 seconds, we're just going to hold the plank. Now on the shoulder tap, you can put your feet on the bench if you want to, to make it a little bit harder, but it's totally up to you. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna put that timer on. The screen's just gonna go black for a second. All right, you guys, we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. We are on. I'm going to go without weights. And time. All right, we're gonna move on to those um, hurdle runovers. You can just picture like an imaginary little thing and you just go one, two, three, one, two, three. Go. You can even set like a dumbbell down. So it'd be like an imaginary line. This. Exercise is designed to get your heart rate up and work your legs. Halfway. You can always modify. Ooh, that's a good thing. This, that's why this thing's rubbery. So if you eat it, it doesn't hurt. Um, I was gonna say you can always modify if the jumping is too much air squats, whatever, time. All right, we're going into those shoulder taps. Feet on the bench, optional. Go. First 22 seconds. 
We're doing shoulder taps. Second 22, hold. Halfway, now we just hold. Hang in there. Woo! That was hard. All right, one round down. Two more to go. Doing good. Back to where we started. Step ups. We go in three, two, one. Go. Well, the timer is working out good, I think. On my iPhone, so I think both apps are open, but it seems to be working. Halfway, switch sides. Time. All right, middle of the second round over the uh, lateral hop overs. Tongue tied. Three, two, one. Let's go. Anything you want to do for this minute. If hop overs aren't your jam, you can do squat jumps. Squat jumps aren't your jam. Air squats, waltz it, anything really to work your legs. Everyone's going to have different needs halfway, different injuries. Just got to modify accordingly. And don't fall over the dumbbell if you're jumping over a dumbbell. Oh, shit. Crashing into this thing. Time. I'll get your heart rate up. All right. Shoulder taps. I'm going on the ground this time. Screw that bench. That was too hard. Way too much. All right, let's go. And then the goal is not to move your hips, which clearly I'm doing because I'm tired. Try not to rotate your hips. Trying really hard not to. Halfway, now we just hold. This sucks, huh? Totally does. Time. All right. One more round. You guys are doing awesome. Let's go back to those step ups. Woo! Yep. Yeah. Here we go. I'm telling you, this seconds pro timer is a game changer, it makes it way easier. That way I can focus on the workouts a little more, not on the timer. Halfway. Don't fall over. Time. All right, two more exercises to go. We got the hop overs and the shoulder taps. And three, two, one, let's go. I'm so OCD. 
this uh, this hurdle thing. It's in the middle of my yoga mat, but when I step over, one foot is on the yoga mat and one foot is on the other surface and it drives me bananas. Like literally makes me cringe halfway, freaks me out. It's like, like a silver fork on like your teeth. It's just, ugh. Freaks you out. Nails on a chalkboard, that's what it is. Time. All right, done with that. Shoulder taps. Last one. This is a good workout. I like this. Ooh. Go. You guys are not going to like the next pod. It's upper body. And it looks like it kind of sucks, but I think we'll get through it. We'll feel better after. Halfway, now we just hold the plank. And pray for dear God that this ends soon. I always wonder, there's a halfway mark on these timers. Well, if you put it on 45 seconds, that's an odd number. So how does that work? Do they do it at 22 and a half seconds? Time. These are the things that keep me up at night. All right. Good job, you guys. Get some water. Um, oh. Yeah, what's holding you guys up is my water bottle, so I'm going to swap you out for a can of tomatoes to prop my phone up. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Same thing. Three exercises, 45 seconds each. This time it's going to be upper body. So the first exercise we're gonna do bent over rows. So again, we're gonna utilize the bench. Um, so, you know, you're gonna go 22 seconds one way, then 22 seconds the other way. That's the first exercise. The second exercise we're using, again, we're using the chair like the whole time, chairs and dumbbells. So we're gonna go dips for the first 22 seconds. Second 22 seconds, we're gonna go burpees. That's where you're gonna hate me, okay? Then the third exercise is gonna be a lateral raise to a front raise. For that one, I recommend going very light. Like I'm probably gonna go five pounds. So I'd get a heavier one for the row and then a lighter one for that, uh, for that raise. And uh, that's all she wrote. So again, it's gonna go black for a second and then um, the timer will start. So starting out with those bent over rows. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. Bent over rows. that back nice and flat. It's a great exercise. Hold on, that's gotta be 22 seconds. Switch sides, sorry, hold on one second. All right, rest, sorry, I just had to reset it. Rest, now we're going on to those dips. Locally you switch sides. There we go. Okay, now we're going on to the dips. First 22 seconds are dips. 
Second, 22, burpees. Halfway, we're going into those burpees. Let's get it. Here, push up, into that kick out, up and then back down. Keep going. And then just go. And time, that was a quick 22 seconds. Okay, now we're going into that lateral raise. Front raise, lateral raise. Not yet. Three, two, one, go. Halfway. Doing good. Hang in there. Time. Okay, we're going back to those rows. If that first timer kind of screwed you up, do the other arm, which is what I'm going to do. Go. It's really weird. I'll, I'll reset the timer and then for whatever reason it will be silent on my phone. So I think I just need to work out the kinks on that. But other than that, it's pretty good. Halfway. And I'm going to keep going. This hurts. It's a great exercise. Time. All right, dips. Dips on the bench and then burpees. Whew. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now I extend your legs out if you want. Halfway. I'm like, hell no. It's hard enough. Woo. Burpees now. Three, two, one. Time. Okay, lateral front, lateral raise. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Go. Those tricep dips, they get me every time. Oh my God. Burns. These burn too. Keep that core tight. Front raise, lateral raise. Halfway. Go to only about shoulder height. Sorry, my washing machine's going. I hope it's not too loud. I'm trying to hear the timer and it's going rawr, rawr. It's awkward. Three, two, one. Time. All right, final round, you guys. We're getting that upper body out of the way. Back to those rows. Three, two, one. Go. Oh. 
Really pull with those lats. We sit hunched over all day. It's really good. Get your back muscles. Halfway. Ooh, wait. Yep. Yeah. See, I'm washing machine. Three, two, one, time. That was my fault. I started the wash. Should have known better. All right, dips. Let's get it. Three, two, one, go. Halfway burpees. Three, two, one. Holy guacamole. All right, last minute. Front to lateral raise. Woo, doing good. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, I had a grilled cheese right before this. Not a good idea. Woo, sitting a little heavy. Halfway. Although I am feeling better once I get moving. Movement is therapy. So after this, we have our core pod. Time. All right, let me just go over. Um, the core pod is actually really simple. So. Three exercises, the first of which is gonna be um, a weighted sit-up. So you're just gonna hold the, like one dumbbell over your head. You'll be on your back, come all the way up, back down, really straightforward. Um, the second exercise is going to be, I don't know why I look up and I'm thinking. Uh, oh, uh, leg lowers to a hip raise on your back. I'll show you. Um, just in case you don't know the language. And then the third exercise is opposite um, toe touch to that bird dog, which again, we've done a bunch of times. Um, all right, let me reset this timer so it doesn't kaputz on me. All right, you guys, you ready? We're gonna start out with those weighted um, sit-ups. In three, two, one. Go. All right, weighted sit-ups. You're on your back. Like so. And then all the way up. Oh, I'm just going to move my bench out of the way real quick. Time. All right. Now we're on to the hip raise to leg lower. So you're here, hip raise, leg lower. Get ready. Whew. Go. Hip raise, leg lower. Lost the abs.
Halfway. Oh, that hurts. Oh, take a break if you need to. Time. All right, we're back. Uh, no, we're at the opposite toe touch to bird dog. I think you can see me. Right here. Opposite toe touch, bird dog. We go in three, two, one, go. Ooh. Modifications for this one. I'm like, I'm tired. Um, you can go knee tap to bird, whatever the hell you call it. Or you can go elbow to knee and up. Um, what else? Yeah. You can even plank on your knees, go down to your thigh, pop up, go into the bird. There's so many variations. Oh, done. All right, back to those weighted steps. You guys are doing awesome. No joke, the burnout. It's a good one. All right, here we go. Weighted sit ups. The strength pod is about, all three of them are about 27 minutes. And then I think the Tabata. Um, like eight minutes or something. I don't know. Halfway, that sucks. Exhale on the way up through your mouth. Inhale on the way down through your nose. Woo. Or take a break. Oh. Time. All right, we got the hip raise to the leg lower. Oh my God, this is torture. You can do dead bug if you want to. I'll give you a substitute, but I think we can do it. Go. Hip raise, leg lower. Oh. The abs, they go up very quickly. If you want to modify it, go single leg, leg drop. Then hip raise. Single leg, single leg. Maybe double and then into that hip raise. Oh, just play around with it. Oh my gosh. You go out like so. Have that dead bug. Ooh, the dead bug hurts too. There's no way getting around it. Woo! Time. I never thought I'd be begging to do the opposite toe touch to bird dog. That was weird. All right, round two, bottom of the second. Three, two, one, go. Gosh, oh, crap, I don't want to do this. All right, here we go. Oh. I only have myself to blame. Like, what kind of ding dong does this? Oh, it's me. Oh. Halfway. Oh. Time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, one more time through. We got this. On our back. Go, sit up. Ooh, that washing machine is really cranking it out now. I think it might be on the spin cycle. It's almost done. 
exercise there's four exercises so we got squat to overhead press is the first one so you'll squat down alternate um, that dumbbell press because it's gonna it's gonna suck um, then we're gonna go bicep curl to kick out it's kind of like a gorilla kick out same concept if you um, if you don't have dumbbells I would recommend doing the, the gorilla kick out um, the third one is going to be split squat jumps or box jumps. So if you have like a bench you can hop on, that's fine. Or split squat jumps. And then the fourth one is going to be plank up down where you're on your elbow, pop up onto your hand, um, and so forth. So the only one I think I'm going to demo for you guys is that bicep curl to kick out. Um, let me do that real quick. All right, so you got that curl. You're here. You're gonna squat down. So you're gonna curl, kick it out, curl. Same thing as a curl and kick out. But we're gonna start out with the squat to overhead press. So right here, squat, press, squat, press. 20 on, 10 off, four times through, and then you move to the next exercise. So I'll walk you through it. Just mimic what I'm doing. Let me get the timer going. All right, you guys, starting with that squat to overhead press. We're gonna go in three. Two, one, go. Time, one down, we have three more to go on this one. Go. Squat. 
two down, two to go on this one. See, I'm washing machine. I feel like killing me. Go. Watch, right when we're done, the washing machine will be, the cycle will be done. That's how it works. OCD, hold on. Yeah. Yep, we're good. We're good to go. Time. Okay, now we're gonna go bicep curl and kick out or gorilla kick out, whatever you want. Either way, it works. Go. Curl. Kick out. Feels like a long 20 seconds. I wish I trusted this thing. Time. Dang it. We'll go in three, two, one, go. Sorry, you guys. Keep going. Just listen to my voice. You're on exercise three. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. You are on to exercise four. We go in three, two, one, go. Last one here. Bicep right curl kick out. Oh, God. Three, two, one. Time. All right, we got split squat jumps or box jumps coming up next. Go.
They get longer and longer, don't they? Time. All right, final Tabata. Plank up downs. Get ready. We go in three, two, one, go. Uh, hold on. Uh, time. One down, three to go. Sixty seconds of work. You're almost there. We go in three, two, one, go. Yes. Two more and then you're done. Whew. This is hard. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Plank up, downs. I'm going to modify a little bit when I drop to my knees. Ugh. Hang in there, you're almost there. <sighs> oh, time. One more. Doing awesome. Timer. I think the wash is finally done. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Uh, hang in there. Oh, time. Woo. All right. You are officially all done. That was really good. Good job, you guys.